Now, fewer people are going to the United States to work and study. Even before the pandemic shut borders, the Trump administration made it harder for people to enter. But America is trying to reopen. Nick Harper reports. Ariel Zhang is in visa limbo. She's from Nanjing in China, but since 2013 has been studying and working in the U.S. She's been on various visas, but her end goal is to get a green card. It's very frustrating, like finding an employer that sponsors me. That is one challenge that I faced when I was in college. And then um, and then the visa lottery thing is also another challenge. And yeah, it's just years after years of waiting. During that time, as her paperwork makes its way through the immigration system, she's been allowed to stay, but it hasn't been easy. For Chinese students, there is like a backlog. So you have to wait like, um, like up to 10 years. And um, I've already waited for like five years. The number of Chinese students coming to the U.S. to study has dropped. In 2019, the U.S. saw its first fall in international students in a decade, and 2020 enrollment dropped 43 percent. Those within the education sector say there were influencing factors well before the pandemic. The changes in immigration policy and the unwelcoming message that was being sent by the Trump administration was very worrisome. Spreitzer says the new administration's Citizenship Act proposal would help foreign students, making it easier for STEM-related PhD students to gain green cards. But it's been a rocky few years. Across the board with our international student visas, we just saw a general slowdown, um, especially in visa processing, additional requests for evidence. Um, we saw some uh, very uh, prominent stoppages at the border where students you know, with existing visas were trying to fly in and enter the U.S. and being stopped at the border. One area that has already seen progress under President Biden is H-1B visas, the specially designed U.S. entry for highly skilled workers in science, IT and technology sectors from places like India and China. Last June, President Trump put a freeze on new applications. President Biden has let that ban expire. Immigration lawyers who specialize in H-1Bs say they've already seen a difference. In my opinion, it's huge because you had individuals who who were eligible to apply for H-1B visas and they were abroad and have been waiting for almost a year since June of 2020 to come back in. And so when that proclamation um, lapsed, all these individuals are now scheduling appointments to get to come in. White says the Biden administration is being more welcoming and she expects that to continue once COVID-19 travel restrictions are finally lifted. Nick Harper, CNA, Washington.